everybody, Casey Justin here, and welcome back to Not My Booth, just outside my booth though, for a different video on storytelling. I've got three quarters of the Johnston clan girls here to help me show you a little something special. What looks like a beautiful, gorgeous dining room table, and it is, is actually a hidden game table. Let me show you. So just under this beautiful poplar top, is our sunken game table. Tabletop games for puzzles if you want, poker if you're into that kind of thing. For us, we play through a lot of things that involve uh, dragons and dice. Let me show you how I built it. got my clamps off and now it's time to drill us some holes. Now for the glue and the clamping. Don't be afraid to use too much glue. There's, I mean, there is such a thing, but there's also not such a thing that makes any sense. battery went out again. So if the battery goes out again, I apologize. Um, I guess we'll reconvene when this thing is all together and I'll show the, um, I'll show the, um, the setup I have. All right. I'm about to put the battery on charge, but just so y'all see my fancy clamping system. this is a gaming table I thought that this side for the skirts something like that would be appropriate As you can 
see, I am back in the garage. It is a hot one out again today. Uh, my wife helped me move these in uh, yesterday evening. I was just spent. So I have all the skirts uh, cut. If it's not obvious why I'm doing the skirts, I'm going to be using this as kind of like a cover or a shelf over the top of the game table. And then uh, below that um, will be the, the sunken game table. I'm not going to have it real deep. What is this, three and a half inches? It's going to be about that deep, less quarter, so two and a quarter inch, whatever that is. And what that's going to allow me to do is hide everything there. You gotta finish with hand sanding. And then you gotta wipe it down and get it dust free. Unlike the finish on the bottom side, this is actually really important. As you may or may not be able to see behind me, the top to this table is done. Now I gotta make all the bottom parts. And I may have said it, I don't know. Um, didn't really plan this one out. So hopefully we don't just waste wood. Um, what I did was, this is going to be the bottom, the very bottom, it's going to be flush with this when it's standing up. But the legs need to be attached to it. So what I'm doing right now is now that I have it pretty evenly spaced around, I am putting the legs, and I'm marking each leg. So this is position two, leg number two. So if there are any variations, um, I know where from. And so I'm positioning this as close to the corner as I can, and then mark it out.
Well, this is just paste wax. Oh, so if it gets on your keys, it, it, can it come off? Well, it's not paint, like Ava was saying. It's just wax, so watch. What does the wax do? It's wax. It treats the wood. It makes it pretty. I thought it, I thought it would help, help that stick on there. It'll help it slide on there. So you're close. So it, so it slides easier on there? Yeah, you can touch it. Touch that and then touch over here. Mm. The difference? A journey making this table for my family and for myself. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't making a tabletop gaming table for myself. But we, my wife and I, really love encouraging storytelling and imagination and all that goes with it. As you know, my oldest is dyslexic. The other three are not. But the one thing they all have in common is our love for literature and storytelling and books and games and everything in between. So what better way to enjoy family time than to use that imagination to indulge ourselves in these games. So a video series coming up is going to be me and my daughters. My wife doesn't really care for being on camera playing Tiny Dungeon. You know, my daughters are six, eight, eight, nine at this point of making the video. They probably won't grasp all of Tiny Dungeon, much less all of Dungeons and Dragons, as much as they really want to play that. It is a D6 based game, and it's supposed to be a lot of fun. I haven't played it myself. I'm going to be doing some learning. That's kind of an exciting thing for me. I'm going to be learning a new game with them, and I'm going to bring you all along, and I think you'll enjoy it, uh, seeing their imagination the innocence of it, and uh, probably some frustrations for me. I just love what I do. I love storytelling in all forms. And one of the greatest forms is that which comes from children. And so I'm going to enjoy that. Enjoy this table. If you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, as usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more of this, more build videos. I've got some shelving over there that you haven't seen that I'm going to show you how I made. I'm going to do a booth update. I've got several other videos coming this year. I'm Casey Johnston. Thanks so much for lending me your ears, your eyes, and your imaginations. I'll read to you next time.